When they were just 16, they made it to the front cover of Teen Magazine as the Great Model Search winners with their matching blonde hair and blue eyes. This would be their first taste of the modeling industry and it wouldn't be long before they made it into one of the biggest magazines of all. While they may have enjoyed a taste of modeling, the Dom triplets were planning on making a career out of it. All three enrolled with the University of Minnesota as part of the nursing school in hope that they'd one day be all nurses, probably in the same hospital, together. It was at this college campus that they saw a flyer advertising Playboy search for models to include in their Girls of the Big Ten special edition. The triplets had to decide whether they'd be willing to take their clothes off for such a well-known magazine, which of course was a joint decision. After much debate, the girls became the first triplets to make it into the monthly centerfold for Playboy. It was a risque decision for the Dom triplets to derobe for Playboy and one that they didn't take lightly. After all, they weren't planning on making a career out of modeling, never mind modeling without clothes on. Jacqueline told Playboy magazine in a 1998 interview that they never would have done this model for Playboy as individuals. Little did they know that this modeling contract would open so many doors and lead to a shocking DNA test. During their time on the doctors rating soared, but there was one medical phenomenon that really helped boost the show. All three triplets got pregnant at the same time. At the end of 2009 and beginning of 2010, people couldn't believe that all three were so alike and had to do everything together, including getting pregnant. This led to the producers of the doctors featuring the girls even more and becoming keen to try something incredible out. Within just weeks of each other in 2010, the Dom triplets all gave birth. Not only did they give birth around the same time, but they all gave birth to beautiful little girls. Now that's really spooky. Jacqueline told Playboy how it must be that triplet bond before going on to say how lucky and fortunate they've all been. When reflecting back on how far they've come from their days as teenagers in Jordan, Minnesota, they said, it's something you never experience when you're from a small town of 2,000 people and all of a sudden you're in a magazine all around the world. Erica also said the best part was that her sisters did it with her. Starting off as just three young ladies from a small town in Minnesota to sitting on the doctor's couch waiting to learn about their DNA. As the Dom triplets were planning on being nurses, they'd always been fascinated by genetics and biology. It made sense for them to help improve the genetic testing system but they never expected to be quite so shocked by the results of their DNA test. The tests were sent to 23andMe with the results to be read out live on a special episode of The Doctors in March of 2017. The first result that came through weren't really much of a surprise to the triplets or the audience at home. The results showed that the siblings were definitely identical, big shocker there. In fact, these girls are so alike that Nicole's safe can be opened up by Erica because their fingerprints are almost identical. They can trick the fingerprint technology into thinking they're the other triplet. Crazy, right? So the test telling them they were identical was correct. What's next? What became strange, however, was when their DNA was broken down even further. For example, Erica was found to be 16% Irish and British, whereas Nicole was 2% more Irish and British. How could three siblings with identical DNA suddenly have different ancestry? Nicole at 11%, Jacqueline at 18% and Erica at 22.3%. The girls were clearly confused about their mixed results, as were the doctors on the show. As different numbers flashed up, the audience gasped. When it came to the Scandinavian part of the test, there were yet even more discrepancies. It was Nicole that had a different result. According to the test, Nicole was 11.4% Scandinavian, almost 4% more than her younger sisters. How could this be? All three were unable to contain their shock surprises when the results were discovered. Nicole admitted that she was surprised. After all, they came from the same egg and have the same DNA. The first test had proved that. Dr. Travis Stork, the host of the doctors, had a few things to say about these kind of tests too. He said these home tests should only be used for entertainment and not used as real evidence for your heritage. Dr. Stork went on to say that the tests you get sent in the mail are nowhere near advanced enough yet to be 100% accurate. He admitted there were always going to be some discrepancies in the results. Of course, the girls are just as gorgeous as they've always been and just as identical. A few years after giving birth to their daughters within weeks of each other, they all gave birth to sons around the same time as well. This means all three triplets are married with one daughter and one son. As we said, they always do everything together and you don't need a DNA test to prove that they really are identical in both looks and personality.